A Vision of the Future The Priestess of Gaia A tribal woman approaches a blue extraterrestrial craft. She is a priestess. She is Gaia's representative and is about to meet a spirit being from across the galaxy. In Aboriginal times, this being would have been called a Wanjina, a sky god, who walks down the Milky Way to help and to teach mankind. She knows this being as one of her spirit guides, who brings much love and wisdom to the new earth. Over the years, she has developed her subtle senses enough to perceive this craft and the being inside. These craft have been with humanity since their genesis and all's watch over. In dense times, such as we are currently living, such craft are only seen as brief glimpses by those momentarily sensitive to subtle energies. They are discounted by scientists and regarded as fringe phenomenon. They are described as UFOs, flying saucers, balls of light, fairies, spirits and ghosts. They exist on a level of reality that few can experience during our current order, but all will experience one day. In the time of the priestess, people will be able to see these subtle phenomena as easily as we see physical structures. They will interact on a level of love at a day-to-day -day level with all these beings. Some will develop their senses enough to board the craft and to be taken on magnificent journeys across the universe. They will be able to elevate their cellular and thought vibrations to such a level as to become transparent to the people of our current time as if ghosts. They will then see these beings and craft as solid and interact with them accordingly. They will use their minds to control the craft and travel in time and space in the subtle dimensions. They may be visiting us even now, but only a few will have the subtle sight to see them. Most will perceive only a flicker or a hint of colour at the corners of their eyes, or perhaps the feeling of a slight breath or the gentlest of touches. Such beings are regarded as angels in our time, but they are really just our descendants and ancestors. Some people alive today may be able to exist at this level. She is in harmony with nature and connects fully to the natural forces. We live in dense times, obsessed with time and rules and desensitization. We eat heavy food, listen to live music, are bombarded by images of bright colours and at the same time are insulated from feeling the sun on our skin or the moss beneath our feet. Tribal living is not retrograde, but the height of subtlety. Technology for a priestess is based on thought and direct manifestation. She lives a life of simple pleasures and as such is extremely sensitive. She can sense the pain of a daisy being picked. She can feel every blade of grass beneath her feet, every droplet of dew in her skin. Everything in her world would seem like soap bubbles to us, but is more resilient than the strongest of our buildings. This meeting is one of joy. Under a blanket of stars she greets her guide and friend. After a brief meditation calling down the subtle powers of the nebulae and galaxies, she is ready to board the blue craft. As she does so, she feels a rush of air and a sense of peace. Being in the craft is like being in a bubble bath or luxuriating on soft silk sheets. Taking her time to meditate with the crystalline energies, she holds a key to her third eye. The craft responds by gently lifting off, like a feather on the breeze. It rises into space and she looks down upon Gaia, her home. The sunlight shines through the craft it is like being in a giant bubble. Her energies are too subtle to be harmed by radiation or solar winds, but she does feel the gentle caress of the particle stream. The craft moves swiftly on, past the moon and deep into space. The energies rise in vibration until the craft seems to disappear totally. It has entered a higher state, that of the etheric realm. Together with her guide, she pilots the craft through a sea of energy travelling across time and space until she reaches the shores of her beautiful planet. 
The planet is in orbit around a giant blue sun. She lands a craft on the beach and it slowly crystallizes into a more solid form. Together they leave the craft and use the energy techniques to ground themselves and to solidify their forms. This is not astral travel, but the next level beyond. It is travel in mind, body and spirit. She is totally present and her physical body can solidify as much as your body is solid now. She walks along the sandy beach and reaches a settlement. There she meets other physical beings. They take many forms and are from all across the galaxy. This may sound fantastical, but it has been done before. In Lemurian times, beings travel from the Pleiades to Earth in such a fashion. By Atlantean times, they had begun to lose this ability, and by our time it seems like pure fantasy. But these abilities are becoming manifest. There has always been a few of us who could do this. The difference is that in the time of a priestess, everybody can.